very, very specific to the Ministry of Agriculture is the need to build the capacity of that ministry, his entire staff and management, to understand, own, and implement the ATA. Is the importance of completing the change management process to cascade ownership for the agricultural transformation agenda across the entire ministry. Having had the privilege of sitting in the federal cabinet before Mr. Vice President, I believe that I have some knowledge of the psyche of our public service. They're always comfortable that they'll wait you out. They have a 30 year long career, 30 year, you know, uh, career spanning 30 years. So you're going to come as a minister, maximum eight years. Never mind, charming gentleman, he'll be gone shortly. And so we believe that a conscious and deliberate effort must be made to really share government's vision on agriculture across the entire staff of the ministry. For them to embrace it, do we want to have the old fertilizer management system in place? Do we want to have the old seeds management system in place? What are we going to do about it? It is only if they understand, it is only if they agree and accept that it is a national aspiration, it is a national priority, that they have a responsibility for this, that they can embrace it and hopefully not try to undo things that will undermine the legacy of both yourself and the president of our country. On the basis of the entire presentation I've just made, we've identified a few actionable priorities, Mr. Vice President. The matter of institutions, number one again, to build the capacity of the NDAs, implement, complete the change management process, and to ensure ownership of the entire vision by that ministry and indeed by Nigerians. Secondly, to accelerate the implementation of the Stable Crop Processing Zone, a Zones Initiative. Thirdly, to, legislation, uh, to legis provide legislation to back up the Growth Enhancement Scheme. And to encourage continued partnership between all tiers of government and the private sector in the sustainable implementation of the agricultural transformation agenda. Fully implement the Commodities Exchange Initiative and expand the capacity of the Securities and Exchange Commission to regulate commodities exchanges, more importantly to privatize existing commodities exchanges in our country. It is important to expand the size and make agricultural, commercial agricultural credit scheme a revolving scheme. Mr. Vice President, we believe that government might consider, and again it is something that came out from the presidential policy dialogue. When Mr. President observed very wisely that the current nomenclature of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development did not appear to capture the shift in focus from pure agricultural endeavor to agribusiness. And we couldn't agree more. We would therefore like to propose to government the redesignation of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development as the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Agribusiness. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, I'm back to the slide where I started. We're back because we believe that Nigeria has all it takes to really feed itself and indeed become a net exporter of food in the world. We believe that Nigeria can fully tackle her, the high unemployment situation we have. 
we believe that Nigeria can considerably reduce the billions of dollars we spend every year on food import. We believe that Nigeria can actually effectively nurture a new generation of nagropreneurs and agricultural enterprises. We believe that we can effectively expand access to markets if we would build our commodities exchange. We believe that we can create great value by linking industry with agriculture effectively. We believe that we can achieve all of these if there is sustained partnership between across all tiers of government and also um, uh, amongst uh, the various levels of government. And in this respect, I'm talking about the need for cooperation between the executive and the legislature, as well as the judiciary who will adjudicate on commercial disputes. We believe very strongly, Mr. Vice President, that all of this can happen if we make the right investments in research and development to develop new knowledge and provide new uh, variety of seedlings, improved seedlings to our citizens. We believe that if we invest in our in, in, uh, infrastructure, if we invest in technology, Nigeria can actually attain the full implementation of the agricultural transformation agenda. All we need to do, Mr. Vice President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, is to connect the dots. We must connect the dots. If we don't connect the dots, we want to contend that we might be back here in another couple of years discussing exactly the same thing. Finally, I end up with a quote, Mr. Pre Mr. Vice President. There are people in the world so hungry that even God cannot appear to them except in the form of bread. They are so hungry that even God cannot appear to them except in the form of bread. There are citizens, there are people in Nigeria today who are so hungry that all they want is just food, just common bread, and it is not available. The full attainment of the agricultural transformation agenda can give them this bread. God does not have to come down from the heavens. One cannot think, act, or create well if one has not eaten well. That is a statement of fact. Even as busy executives, you know what happens to you when you're hungry because you're in too many meetings. Mr. Vice President, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we I thank you for your kind attention and thank you again for being such... May we now, I'd like to invite, I'd like to invite the chairman of the NESG, Mr. Folusha Phillips, to formally present this presentation to Mr. Vice President. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we all agree that that was a wonderful presentation of the summary. But I think for the young men and women who are part of the rapporteur team, those that killed sleep to package this overnight, and I've been to several conferences, communiques are not this cleanly with Victoria's presented. For those young men and women who did this behind the scene, let's appreciate them. Well done, well done. 